plays a lot of fucking games. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. He plays a lot in day. He plays his life away. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. <laughs> Now, it's time to play with some ketchup. Hello everybody, it's the Old World Gamer, and I'm back for some more Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo, and in this episode, well, first let's get to this part. The Empire's after the sealed gate. They're looking for some statues or something. No! Or, no! <laughs> I should have, <laughs> I never even thought about it. Oh, those silly espers, to think they opened the gate themselves. The statues should be just ahead, if we can just get our hands on them, We'll have everything we ever dreamed of. Kefka's... Come! Quickly! <laughs> Kefka's never... He's just a football. Oh, so... Here we go. What's wrong, Terra? The island. The world is groaning in pain. Ooh, now... I'm sure some of you already know what that is. Oh boy, that loud, grinding, ripping, tearing, pulling noise. Well, it's the entire uh, continent coming apart. Uh, that's why there's all that noise. Oh, that old lady's got so is the merchant. Oh, Jesus. I can never understand it. It almost looks like the, the little girl there is looking straight up. Like her odds are like, ooh, but it's actually the back of her head. <laughs> I used to keep thinking that it was like her looking up going, oh, oh, <laughs> wow, Kefka just made half of the continent float into the sky, or Kefka and Gestahl, I should say, and here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, this is the floating continent, and those are the three statues that created the Espers, that's awesome, <laughs> now this is my, this is power, this is my magicite. Nothing can stop me. Kefka is just loving it, just laughing away. The beginning of all magic! Those? It is said that they somehow neutralized each other's power, then sealed themselves away. That's kind of crazy. If the three statues should ever be moved out of alignment, the resulting imbalance could rearrange the face of our planet. What? Yup. <sighs> so, here we go. Now, we have the choice now of finding the floating continent. So we're not going to go there just yet. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to actually catch up on some of the things that we haven't done. So, yes, here we go. Back to the auction house. And don't worry, I shortened this up and it was way sooner when I done this. It was like the fourth time I came up and boom! Do you know how happy I was when I seen that pop off? I was like, oh my god! I'm gonna get to go to the magic site! And it doesn't even have that good of magic on it anyways. It's, it's like stop and slow and... I don't know, like... Region or reflect... I don't know, it's not reflect, carbon glass reflect. But anyways, this time I'm giving my shadow to Carnage Knight! He seems to be a new Let's Player, uh, didn't start too long ago, and he's actually currently Let's Playing Stronghold Crusader and Doom 2, which I didn't know there was a, a well, there was a Doom 3, so, but I thought Doom 2 was supposed to be, like, uh, I guess a more moddable version of Doom or something. Uh, so anyways, yeah, go over to his channel and, um, check out his content. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, comment, leave some feedback, show him your support, do all the fun, loving, awesome stuff that us Let's Players like to do for each other. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get back into the game. Now, here is something that, uh, I don't know why or how this worked out the way it did. Um, okay. Whenever I go to get Mog's Water Rondo, uh, I usually go through the Returner's Hideout, go down through the Falls, and then, you know, make my way through Serpent Trench, go to Nakia, all the way back. Now, this time, it seems like I somehow got a shorter route to the fact that after, uh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'll let you guys see that in a second, because you guys are just going to say, I'm, I'm actually going to, um... leave all this in so you know that I did not fuck around at all. This is all straight up... Um, 
how it happens, I guess. And I don't know, maybe this is how everybody else does it, but for some reason I remember having to go through Serpent Trench in order to get the Water Rondo, and this time I did not have to do that. So, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, that someone can give can enlighten me on that, because I, I, I honestly thought that, you know, you couldn't get the Water Rondo without going through Serpent Trench. Uh, so, here we are, we're on the Leet River. Yes, we're going to hop aboard the raft. And so, yeah, uh, there's not really much to this episode, but so by all means, if you don't feel like watching the whole way through, don't. That, that's perfectly fine by me. I'm, I'm glad that you guys watched up to almost the six-minute mark anyways, because right now, the only thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to finish up getting the water rondo. Like I said, showing this what I think is a shorter path. And that's pretty much it. Now, the, at the bottom of the uh, border over there, it says most of Mog's dances. I did do those off screen, so I'm not actually going to include the video for that, but I'm just more or less leaving it there so everyone knows that I actually went and got them all. Now, the only one, obviously, that you can't get until the World of Ruin is, um, uh, Jesus, I can't remember. It's the, win it's the snow one. You only get that when you're in Narsh, when you have to fight uh, a certain enemy. And again, I don't want to spoil that for anybody, so... And yeah, as you can see, I have the Water Rondo right now. I, I got it after the first battle here, and yep, Plasma looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's I've already got it, so I was like, okay, well, that was quick. I thought I had to go to Serpent Trench, and I was like, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have to go all the way through there anyways. Or at least that's what I assumed by taking this raft. But uh, it, that's not what happens. And yeah... Like I said, I'll, I'll let you guys see what happens exactly if you want to watch it. Skip ahead if you really want to. Uh, it's about at the... Jeez, I don't even know. Like the 20 minute mark or something like that? Jeez. Okay, so, yep, still slowly learning some spells and stuff. And uh, usually what I used to do before I go to the Floating Continent as well is to grab all the, uh, all the characters and get them as much magic as possible. But, I mean, honestly, I don't even care. I'm not going to waste the time doing that. I... I Right now we're fairly overpowered as it is with the high level cap or with the high level that we're already uh, at. Ooh, nice stolen mithril knife. That's another thing you'll see some a lot of new things being stolen as well, or at least we're gonna try to. And that healed the crabs or the what are they called exocytes. That sounds like a uh, like an internet search browser. Oh, uh, dude, just look it up on exocyte. Oh, jeez, I probably just gave some like search engine creator like an idea oh my god i'm gonna fucking call it exocyte <laughs> and you know what dude go right ahead just mention me or something i don't even want any <laughs> i don't need any money or this well i do need money who doesn't need money but yeah you know what i mean i don't want to take credit just just mention that well anyway i'm just gonna shut the fuck up for a second <sighs> okay so anyways today is the 17th of February and uh, not a whole lot going on we're actually having a bit of a rain snowstorm right now so we're supposed to have class tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna go uh, we got up this morning there was actually a flat tire there and we're not sure if the tire is actually fully flat or if it's not but we're gonna leave it f uh, pumped up overnight um, and we already have the dummy tire on actually so we're gonna try and use uh, we're gonna try to you know uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be going to class tomorrow, but we're going to get that fixed for tomorrow either way. And, um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it all i got to say about that. Uh, hmm. I had turkey dinner today, which actually there's something that bothers me about the turkey dinner today. Um, once upon a time when we used to have turkey dinner, no one ever ate the dark meat turkey, uh, except for uh, Robin's brother. So anyways, and, and that's fine because, you know, it's just the two of us, and I'm a big dark meat eater myself I, I prefer dark meat over white meat on turkey just because it tastes better in my opinion but anyways that's besides the point yeah anyways um so I, I i'm usually the last to get uh, dinner out to her parents place on sundays because i'm usually taking up food for the dog first and then and yes we do feed our dog a meal uh, at sunday dinner every sunday when we go out there so it's a bit spoiled i think but at least he gets to eat uh real you know meat and real vegetables and stuff and he eats everything like cabbage turnip uh carrot potatoes uh we have what we have we have peas pudding today we had dressing and well turkey obviously corn and yeah the dog ah oh, took the wrong way no so we're gonna have to endure a couple extra battles probably but anyways 
So yeah, uh, anyways, getting back to the main point of the story, I start taking up mine, and you know, everything's great, I'm getting down to, you know, going down through all the vegetables, and I finally, you know, I always leave my turkey for last. I get over to the friggin' thing, almost all the friggin' dark meat is gone, and I was like, what the fuck, man, like, there's not that much white meat left there, there was only a bunch of us, and it was a fairly decent sized turkey, but there was no damn dark meat there, I was so pissed off, like... Well, there was, but I had to go and, like, cut off extra bits, like, and most of it was from underneath the turkey that people don't usually, you know, find out or think about, except for those two big, like, uh, what are they called, almost, like, knuckle pieces, I call them, because there's, there's two big dark chunks right underneath the turkey that, oh, they're just so good, and it's just, like, a big wad, two of them are just two big wads, and, yeah, delicious. But anyways, yeah, so I didn't get uh, to eat, uh, well, that's that's a lie, I got to eat more than my fair share of food, but that's because I, I take a lot of vegetables, I love vegetables a lot, especially with Sunday dinner, so. And again, just to uh, reiterate that uh, Sunday dinner for us is like Thanksgiving for you guys, like, I don't know, it seems like most people, from what I hear down in America, and even in, in a lot of parts of Canada, that a lot of, a lot of people don't eat the big meals on Sunday, like, they don't have, you know, like I said, what you'd have on Thanksgiving, which, again, doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a turkey, but I mean, like, the same kind of fixings, like, uh, potatoes, carrots, turnip, and again, that's what we have, cabbage, um, you know, a turkey, or a roast, or chicken, or, you know, that kind of thing, and, I don't know, what, if, for the people out there who, who watch my videos and, uh, listen to the stuff that I have to say, and if you actually are listening this far, geez, um, what do you have with your, um, I guess Sunday dinners? Do you guys have the same kind of things as us, or do you know, do you guys do that type of thing? Like, what's the usual thing that you're, you and your family have, I guess, for, uh, Sunday dinner? I'd love to know, because, well, not only that, it would help me f think of other new, interesting, cr creative ideas, probably, as well, to, uh, make new things for ourselves, so I would love to hear more about that. And this is more like a vlog <laughs> video today, just because, like I said, most of this is just, you know, as I, I got to state it over in the border, it's just unfinished business, like getting Gollum, or Gollum, Gollum, jeez, going to the Lord of the Rings, going to Rohan, and picking up Gollum. Um, but yeah, picking up Gollum at the, uh, at the auction, and now, like I said, getting Mog's Water Rondo, which is still pretty long, though, I must say. The worst part, oh, excuse me. I don't know why I got sleepy all of a sudden, Jesus. But uh, the worst part is that I have to uh, I have to go through all all this still. Like there's a lot of battles. I almost wish we had the Moogle charm so we could just skip everything and be done with it. But not until the world of ruin. Who's still fucking ruining for everyone? No, I'm not ruining for everybody. Shit. <laughs> okay, so yes. We are almost done here, almost done. Sploosh! Come on! Sploosh! Yay! And I love how, the, how this um, raft doesn't tip over or anything like that at all either. Like, it just... And yeah, oh, yeah, Jesus, check this out. Look at this. On the raft... <laughs> okay. On the raft, you can actually run away. Where? <laughs> you were just fighting a pterodon. It's like... What is the terror? Oh shit, he went to the other side of the raft. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do now. Now, yeah, check this out. Um, I just come down through here. Kill these robites with the auto crossbow. Just get this battle quickly finished and done. Now, I'm pretty sure. Mastered New Dance, yeah, that's nice. Now, I'm pretty sure, let, let's go, Mark. There we go, little fella. Uh, we're almost to where we want to be, which is... Damn it! More robots, we're gonna kill them. We're gonna use the wind song, wind slash, do 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 And kill those bunnies, they're on big purple bushes. And we fucking won. Give us gold pieces and some experience and make us level up. Do, 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 do. Now, we should be coming up on our final destination, which is. God damn it. 
<laughs> Getting attacked by more grease monks and rodoxes. Another wind slash. Thank you, Mog, for taking everybody out with ease and finesse. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot of finesse. And here we go. Here's Nakia. So, that's what I was wanted to show you guys. Apparently, I don't have to go down through Serpent Trench. And I already had the water run though, so like I said, I do not. I, I thought for sure I had to go down through Serpent Trench with with Mog. And I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken because, like I said, I haven't played this in like uh, honestly, like oh god, when is the last time I played this? Probably ten years, six between five and ten years for sure. And I can't believe that I forgot as much as I did. And we're gonna head back to South Figaro, and this is where I was just like, what? So no super trench? What the hell did I do? What am I gonna do now? I don't know. I'm gonna go back to South Figaro and get our airship back. Yeah. Let's get our airship. Let's get our airship. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head back to South Figaro. We're gonna get our airship back. Sorry if I'm uh, slightly retarded. Um. Oh, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Might make some chicken and pasta. Make some Alfredo sauce or something. And we are back at South Figaro. And so now all we have to do is exit town and go, what, northeast a little bit to get back to the Returner's Hideout. The only bad thing is that, yes, we have to go back through Mount Colt, which is a big old fucking piece of poop in itself. So, yeah. Fun. <laughs> Okay, so, um, I can't remember what else I was going to say, uh, but that just in. Jeez. Yeah, I know, the commentary is a little bit more, uh, laid back today, I guess. That's all I can say about that. So, like I said, I, I really don't blame anyone for wanting to watch it. But this will be the, uh, the final video before we hit the world, or the floating continent in the world of ruins, so that should be very, very, very... Very exciting for us. Yeah, the other thing that I have left to do tonight... Well, I, I could probably do another Pokemon video after this as well, which I've actually been, surprisingly enough, I've been enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, like I said in the video, in those videos itself, I, I'm not really enjoying the fact that it's all predetermined Pokemon. Like, it's not like anyone who's played this game can watch this and be like, Oh, I wonder what Pokemon he's going to use, because there's only a certain number I can use anyway, so... Yeah. Excuse me. But uh, I do also have to try and record Wizards and Warriors 3. Oh, and if it wasn't for that, if I didn't need the damn footage for the show, I would not do it at all. Believe me, I would not even bother LPing it. It's such a stupid. Oh. Uh, it, it, yeah, I, don't, I don't know why they call it Wizards and Warriors. It's not like the other ones, and well, you'll you'll see eventually. Oh God, it's so bad. And I just really don't enjoy playing it at all. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to try and do as much of that as possible. Uh, we're having another meeting tonight, actually, in about three hours. So I figured, hey, I might as well try and get a new uh, Final Fantasy VI video up today. I'm sure someone will enjoy watching it. Ooh, so there you go. If you want a bandana, which I don't think we had any of those yet, uh, you can actually steal them from the brawlers. Uh, here in the caves of Mount Colt. Lick my taint. 39 experience. Was that a tonic and little bit of fucking gold? Now, if you look back there to your, uh, that bridge that we just passed there, to our, that was to our far left. Jeez, I couldn't even get it out. But, uh, if you remember from Locke's, uh, dream, he actually, um, yeah, that's where Rachel fell and, and like pushed him out of the way and she fell down and he jumped down after her. So, a lot of the things in this game are from other places kind of thing. Within the game but not the map. So more or less, uh, I don't think they use anything in the game that isn't already a place you can get to kind of thing. So it's really nice that they do that. So, I don't know, it just has a good continuation for that reason. And, um... Uh, 
Also, if you're not sure <laughs> what the picture is down there by Amano this time, that is actually Dataluma, the uh, boss that you meet when you first go to get Sabin uh, here on Mount Colt. So I figured it was very fitting, seeing as we're back on Mount Colt, and I didn't use uh, Dataluma's um, artwork, uh, Amano's artwork for Dataluma, that I would put it up now. So hopefully, uh, I doubt that guy's ever going to say, oh my god, could you imagine? That he's just like, oh, thanks for doing that game and putting my art there. Very much appreciated or whatever. Like, anything like that. Oh, God, that would... Uh, and then I jizzed in my pants. But, no, I, I probably would. That would be so amazing. Oh. I, I don't know. Maybe when I go to the floating continent, maybe I'll put the picture up of the airship Chocobo war thing that picture that he drew. Oh my god, it's so friggin awesome. And that's all I can say about it is that it's awesome. Oh yeah, and if you want to steal remedies, these trilliums actually have remedies if you need them. Poor old Gao, he's got poisoned. And here's what I'm talking about the shitty part of poison is Hag 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 Way to give me a nice mosaic feel there, Final Fantasy, or Square, I should say. Enix. Squ Squeenix. Um, let's see. So we're, oh, god damn, with all these fights. Uh, so at least we're almost done. We're almost out of the clear. And yes, the video is almost finished, ladies and gentlemen. Or probably just gentlemen. I doubt there are many ladies watching this. But hey, if you are a lady and you watch this, please leave a comment. And I would be more than happy to, well, not only respond back, but to apologize for it. Uh, it's just that, again, usually you don't see many uh, female Let's Players. Well, especially not many watching my stuff right now. So, uh, there are a few. Not many, but there are a few. So, uh, and hey, they're just as good, if not better, than uh, the dudes that are here Let's Playing. So, uh, you know, props to them <laughs> for... Uh, <clears throat> for pursuing something like this. I mean, I know it's hard as it is just doing it as, you know, an individual, you know, regardless, but, you know, being in a more male-dominated, I guess, video genre or whatever, I mean, I can see how it could be intimidating, so kudos to all you ladies out there who decide to go and do uh, LPing. My girlfriend done it. I did, it took her a while before, uh, before she started, and it took me a lot of coaxing, but she's actually enjoying it a lot, and I think, uh, you know, more couples should get into this actually it'd be an, an, it's a good way to uh it's a good way to actually i guess do things with each other <laughs> outside of you know, sex um but you know that way you can play games together collaborations or just uh just doing the co-commentary is fun i mean that's all i do with robins and it's more than enough fun for me so and thankfully we don't have to fight no dataluma there so and i wonder if i had left the boxes there if I could come back later and there'd be better stuff in them. Probably not. I know it happens in South Figaro, but that's about it. Oh, jeez, I'm getting like Yanni again. Bear, bear. So we're gonna kill these two last two brawlers and we're gonna get the hell out of off of Mount Colt. And get the hell up back onto the path to uh, the returner's hideout. And that seems to be the end of Mount Colt. So I'm probably gonna end it off here for today, guys. Uh, so thank you all for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer, and I'll see you guys soon in a new episode. Take care, everybody. Ooh, look, there's our airship. Yay! Hey there. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. I've also recently made a skit video about how to stay home from school. Check it out by clicking on the video above. If you want to see more of my videos, head on over to my channel, or click on any of the videos above to be taken to the playlist. Also, tell your friends by sharing, liking, and subscribing, because everyone loves that subscribe button. Also, you can find me on Facebook.com, and don't forget to hit that like button, or even to clear a thumbs up war, and you know, have a little thumb war or something. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, where we can tweet and talk to birds and possibly share some worms or something. I'm also affiliated with Vega.com and partnered with SocialBlade.com.